a Google map of Blackwell A winning colliery and the surrounding area with overlay maps shown with red lines display the location of some of the tunnels which were dug in the three-quarter coal seam around Blackwell from the 1940s up until the colliery was closed in 1969. Some tunnels or roads in the low main seam can also be seen. To the northwest of the overlay map we can see the tunnels leading from Morton Colliery which were connected to A Winning, and in turn connected to other local collieries such as Alfreton as shown in the southwest of the overlay maps, with tunnels in the yard seam and three-quarter seam. Connecting collieries together was common practice for safety, ventilation, water drainage and access purposes. Blackwell A Winning Colliery was sunk in 1872 by the Blackwell Colliery Company to the north of South Normanton and to the east of Westhouses. The shafts are a total of 310 yards deep, which is 18 yards below the Black Shale seam. The coal seams worked in Blackwell were the following. The deep hard seam was 179 yards deep, and was worked until 1946. The Tupton or low main seam was 237 yards deep, and was worked until 1958. The black shale seam was 292 yards deep, and was worked until 1969. It was formerly part of Alfreton Colliery, which was also known as Sea Winning. The three-quarter seam was worked until 1964. Finally the yard seam was worked until 1969. Number one shaft had two double-deck cages each holding a two-ton mine car winding on two shifts from the black shale seam. Number two shaft equipped with rope guides had two cages with double decks that held two tubs per deck. A winning became a major water pumping colliery after its closure, pumping almost a million gallons of water per day and would continue to pump to protect Bentink Colliery which would have flood if the pumps were switched off. Water was collected from Alfreton, Swanwick and the surrounding area and would flow through to B Winning Colliery, New Hucknall Colliery, Kirkby Colliery then on to Langton Colliery. The highest output at A Winning was 578,059 tons in 1957. The highest manpower was 1,342 in 1952 when 519,304 tons of coal was processed. Today the site is still active as the A winning mine water treatment scheme which is a strategy to prevent uncontrolled discharges to the surface watercourses, and also to protect the aquifer in the area, which is one of the most important sources of drinking water in the Midlands. Water is pumped from the shaft at the pump station, across a brook and to the treatment cascade which aerates the water. It then flows into two lagoons and a wetland, naturally occurring processes then treat the water without the need to add any chemicals. If you have any information, interesting stories or maps for Blackwell Colliery and surrounding collieries please leave a comment as we may be able to use these in future videos. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up.